you from uh, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, right? Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Yep. I wasn't born there, but I was raised there majority of my, mm -hmm. you know, lifespan. So. Okay. Well, here's a question for you. I'll, I'll do this question, then I'll get to <laughs> the uh, to the totally you question. Okay. So, yeah. I don't want to drop a dime on people. Okay. I told you don't. I hear you. Okay. I hear you. <laughs> so, what was it like uh, working with Tyra Banks and uh, the crew uh, competing on America's Next Top Model? Um, working with Tyra, she's really nice, really down to earth kind of person. So um, we really don't see her much, in, except for at like panel or something like that. But with me being the winner afterwards, I got a chance to talk to her and stuff like that. So she's very down to earth. And being on the show is kind of like a tough situation. You know, you just got to imagine you going into this house. There's 13 girls. You got different personalities. You have people who are mothers, wives, and people who are just daughters at home. So you fight against that. You only get to call home three times in two months. So it's, it's stressful. Your support system isn't there. You can't call home and say, well, this is going on, Mama. I need some help because you can't discuss what's going on on the show. So it's tough, oh, but a good experience. <laughs> oh, man. So the whole... Um experience is a lot, I guess, tougher than what we see on yeah, TV. Yeah, you see about 10 minutes of something that probably went off like an hour. So it's a lot of stuff that, you know, you guys miss that we go through. So when you see us on TV and we're, you know, we're talking about, you know, what went on and the camera may have not caught it. So y'all looking at us like we're crazy, but we're stressed out. It, it gets a little stressful, but it's, I think it's hardcore modeling that she tried to teach you. So when we go out into the real world, like in the industry now, everything is like a, it's so easy to me. And everybody expects me to come in and be like different. But I'm like, this is great. You know, the, it's the little things that matter because we went through the extreme. So mm -hmm. I respect it a lot more. <laughs> I hear you. Let me get this right. You tried out every season of the show until you made it. That's right? correct. I sure did. What do you think was that thing that finally got you in the door? You know what, everybody asks me that question and I'm not really sure about that because I seem to think nothing changed about me but my hairstyles through the years. So <laughs> I've tried it all and you know, I don't think, I don't know what it was that kind of finally caught their attention. I think it was just my time. You know, everybody has that time where it's, it's fit for you and it's right for you and I think that was just my fit during that time. So. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Did you at some point during the competition have any idea that you could have been this season's winner? Oh, never. I could find a reason for everybody in that house to win except myself. And the producers used to sit down with me and they were like, so why should Raina win? Why should Brenda win? Why should... And I'm like, whoa, I can blurt it out a reason right off hand. They were like, why should you win? I'm like, I, I don't know. And they were like, that's crazy. So I expected everyone to win but myself. I was just praying that I would get far. And that was it. Mm -hmm. when, when you found out that you did win, what, what went through your mind? I know it was probably like, ah. Yeah, I was freaking out, and I kind of hit the floor a couple of times, and I was crying. I had to keep looking back at the picture, and Tyra even stopped, like, why are you looking at the picture? You don't believe it's you? And I was like, I'm just shocked, because I never thought I would win, and especially going up against my competitor, um, Raina, she was one of my picks. Like, I chose her to be the winner. You know, you have that in your head, going through casting, like, okay, I can pick them out. I think she's going to go far, she's going to go far. She was the person I chose to win, and so being in the top two with her, I was like, there's no way I'm taking this home. I had already prepare myself to like, you know, Rain is the winner, you know, Krista, sorry, but good job making it this far. So when I saw it was me, I just couldn't believe it. I freaked out. I still don't believe it to this day. I'm probably a lot more down to earth. Like people talk to me now and they're like, well, you know, you're Krista, American Next Time. I'm like, no, nah, I'm just kind of Krista. So, you know, it's just a title. I hear you. And, and, and even with that, that way of thinking, that'll, that'll take you a long way. What advice would you give anyone who's interested in uh, becoming a professional model? Um, I would tell them it's a lot of stuff that I learned while I was on the show that I didn't know. And um, sometimes I would say top model is something for those girls who after you tried everything, you know, this is like my last resort and this is something that could take me to the next level. Um, it's look, the little stuff that can really take you far. Like, you know, if I was 16 and I know what I know now, you can just go and call up photographers that's in your hometown and, you know, say, do you mind shooting me, you know, just to build my portfolio? And they would shoot you for free just to swap out the pictures and put it in their portfolio. You put it in your portfolio and it's even, mm -hmm. you know, and you don't have to pay for it. And you could just send those off to agencies. But I didn't know that then we wasn't, you know, taught that. So it's very easy now for girls to get involved. And I would just tell them to don't stop, don't give up, don't quit. You're going to hear a lot of no's before you hear yes. And you just have to know that and go into the situation already understanding that. So. Let me 
I'm sure a lot of doors have been uh, opened as a result of you being on this show. What's next for you? Um, right now, we're <laughs> right now, I'm getting ready. Uh, we're out in town this week, me, and um, I'm out here with Lauderdale Media. We're getting ready for the Mid-South Fashion Week that's coming up in Memphis. So it's huge. It's the first thing that's going on here. It's going to be huge. It's about fashion. Um, we're bringing a lot of Project Runway stars to the, um, to the fashion shows. I'll be hosting it. Um, it's going to be big. I'm excited because... When I was growing up, there was nothing like fashion shows down south that you can, you know, appreciate. You always have to go to New York for Fashion Week or L.A. And to have it down south and deep in the south is just amazing to me. So I have that coming up. Uh, I have New York Fashion Week coming up and New Zealand Fashion Week coming up. So it's pretty busy. <laughs> I hear you. Well, here's a question for you. What church are you about to go to? I'm just kind of curious. Oh, you funny. <laughs> Lake Grove Church. Lake Grove. <laughs> Lake Grove Church. Uh, I, I dipped in Sunday school a little bit this morning, so um, I'm excited to go back and see what they have to offer. It's not, I live in Vegas, so it's nothing like a, a southern church to me, so I miss I it. I was uh, vacationing in Vegas uh, about almost a month ago. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize how dang on hot it was. I, you know oh, what? Boy. If I can live anywhere forever, it would be Vegas. I can live on the West Coast forever. I, and I love summertime. I'm mm -hmm. not a winter person. I hate snow. Uh, I, I'm just not a winter person. But I was born in the wintertime, so it makes no sense to me. But. Wait, so you're okay with that 120 Oh, 125 degree, degree weather? You know, yes. Dry heat, right? Yes, love it. Dry heat. See, here, it's the humidity is so moist here and so Ooh. thick you can cut it with a knife, so it kind of throws me off. But I love Vegas weather. I'm a desert girl. 